What's up guys? Welcome back. We got another video for you. I can kind of see what this one's going to be. Fiberglass boat cow repair. Let me show you guys how to fix that. One of the first things we're going to do is just dismantle this thing. It's got a cap on it and it's got a, a rear rear part. All this stuff can come off so we can just have the the main cow. So we're going to dismantle everything. I'm going to give you a quick look, see what you got. So the first thing I'm going to do, take this little cut off disc, and I'm going to try to chase this down, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. flex wherever it needs to to get us back to our original shape. This one wasn't split 100%. It wasn't completely broken, but I'm going to cut shape some more off of here and make some room for some more fiberglass. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the end of this and drill some holes to just, just stop the stress. Not sure if this needs one up here or not. This might be overkill, but I don't want to take any chances. I think this one's all right. Ah, I don't want to take a chance. All we're doing with that is trying to eliminate any of the stress continuing on down in any of these hard corners. Plus, we're going to fill all this with fiberglass anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the inside and do a little prep work. I got a little belt grinder here. You can use a little roll lock disc or sandpaper. I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit. Kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. <clears throat> Basically on the inside here, I'm going to lay fiberglass, fiberglass cloth and fill it with some fiberglass epoxy. But I need to get it prepped on both sides. I may even take this out a little further, like about like that, just to get a good, good size structure repair on the back side. I went ahead and decided to take it all the way across because it was wanting to crack. I can see from the inside, it kind of wanted to go this way. So I'm assuming this chunk was gonna break out eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and patch the whole area. So yeah, that's what we got. So the inside's pretty much ready ready to go. Now we're gonna kind of prep the outside the same way. That area that's what I was talking about earlier. It's wanting to come on across to connect them. So we're gonna go ahead and fix the whole thing. 
So I'm pretty much going to prep the outside the same way. Here's what we're left with. From this point, the outsides, after this, the fiberglass is set up, the outside's gonna be more of a cosmetic fix. But I wanted to do this, because I'm gonna put some tape on the back outside, and I'll put fiberglass with the mesh on the inside for the structural repair. And whatever comes through here, I wanted to make sure it has something to bond to. Show you what we got going on. I had to clamp it because it was wanting to uh, split. So I got it clamped. Backside's all prepped. Now what you want to do is you want to clean this fiberglass with some acetone first. And then this is the product we're going to be using. It's just a two-part uh, epoxy the fiberglass. We're going to be using a cloth for reinforcement. So let's get started. Just wanted to show you all, I put tape on the back side <clears throat> just to make sure it doesn't fall through. We're gonna go ahead and mix our epoxy up. It's a two to one ratio, but they got the pumps set up where one pump out of here and one pump out of here works it for you. So it's kind of hard to mess that up. You wanna waste a little bit, make sure you got some coming out and just keep track of how many pumps you put in there. That's six. I'm gonna use six of the hardener. Now we gotta do stir them up. You can always mix more, so I start with a little bit, and then I always, if I need more, I just mix up some more. Went ahead and pre-measured this, just to make sure it fits. It's got a little extra on the sides, but we can always trim that off after the fact. I gotta tell you, you're gonna need a paintbrush. Just get your old cheap one. I like to start in the cracks and fill it up. I like to brush the whole area first. Make sure the little cracks are filled. Before we apply the cloth. You 
you could take some small strands if you wanted to and get in the crack. I don't think it's necessary for what we're doing. You got it in there. Put your cloth down. We'll do repairs. And then take your brush. Throw it in. You want to make sure it soaks all the way through this cloth. I missed a small hole right here. Make sure I get it covered up with some woven cloth. It's already starting to set up. Pretty much it. So here's where we're at in this stage of repair. You can see the crack through there. We've got it covered pretty good. I'm happy with this. Now we're just gonna let this sit overnight. And like I said, we can always trim up some of the stuff after the fact, but I'm gonna let this sit overnight and see if we need to do something else on the backside. All right, here's where we're at. I took the uh, wood off that was holding this together. Now this thing is secured out. I'm gonna go back and add a little more right here. And I'm gonna kind of feather these out with the fiberglass. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you afterwards. Here's what we're left with. That's the back side repair. Now we're just gonna flip it over and uh, show you how to do the front side. All right, here's what we're left with on the front side. We got some that ran out, we got some tape stuck. Still got some wood in there. But we're gonna clean all this up. I just got an old, an old Rolock disc here. I'm just gonna try to clean this stuff up. Get you guys in there closer. We got a little hole right here we got to fill in right there. But uh, what I call, I guess, the structural side is the back side. Um, this front side, we're just going to use some kitty hair fiberglass and then some short strand and then probably some just some Bondo. I went ahead and cleaned the holes out so that the other fiberglass has something to stick to. Just got some kitty hair fiberglass here. Go ahead and mix up and spread it in the holes. I'm gonna make sure this stuff is mixed real good. Make sure you press it in the holes. And 
low spots you got. Now here's what we got. I zipped it down with a DA real quick with some 80 grit. Still got a hole right here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some more glass on it and try to fill that hole in and do some other stuff. For this one, I switched over to the short stranded glass for this wipe. At this point, from now on, it's pretty much just a cosmetic repair like you would anything else. We moved on to Bondo and to this point, Got it all primed up. We're gonna go ahead and paint this thing and then I'll show you guys the after picture. All right guys, here's the final product. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it.